fast. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, wow, that was bad. Okay, so after hearing all this information on hell, is there one person that you wish should have at least heard this information in this lecture? There's that person right there. Is that Ghostbusters? I like it. I think that your time is important. My time is my inventory. Um, and no one's time should go unrewarded. And so my gift to you is if anyone that you feel should have come to this lecture, at least should be checked for subluxation. If you refer them in the office uh, within the next two weeks, their first entire visit is, is completely on me. Uh, it's usually 110 if you're if you're paying cash for your insurance. It's, it's different, but um, basically it's 110 dollar dollar value, and they'll get what you got, which is a consultation, analysis, physical exam, X-rays if needed, and all that sorts of things. So um, how this works is I'm going to have Casey just uh, yeah, hand you just a, a little clipboard. If you have anyone uh, on 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 your not on your heart, but but on your mind, just their first name. I would just ask for the first name, uh, not their last name. Um, no phone number. I'm not going to solicit them at all. I, I have no intention. It's just, it's just to give us an idea. So what will happen is uh, you can fill us out, give it to Casey, and um, on, uh, on your next uh, visit we'll have coupons uh, printed in their name so you can give that person. But like I said, um, we just, just want the first name so we can fill that out. Um, and we will call them. Anyone, anyone have any questions? I don't know how to rush through that. That was really, really awkward. I'll pass that one. I like to tell stories and stuff. So I try to turn it down. Anyone have any questions? Please. Why doesn't modern medicine cooperate with chiropractic more? Okay, that's a billion dollar question right there. Okay, can you be can you be more specific? Can I can I because modern medicine is is this medicine in general or well I guess to be specific like a uh, injured employee. Um, you know, we've had a, several over the year that end up going to pain management specialists right. and doing physical therapy, and chiropractic usually doesn't, maybe there's like 12 visits that are sure. allowed, but there's there's no prolonged chiropractic care that's involved. Right. What, why is there that okay. separation? So we're going into who's paying for that care, and it's usually whoever has to pay for that is, is going to try and get you fixed for the least amount of money and they're going to make the most amount at your end. So if you pay your insurance premium, they're not really looking out for your employer's best, your employee's best interest, right? I mean, it's a business. They're there to make money. Trust me, they make billions and gajillions of dollars. That's why we're having a health reform right now. So when we... That's a good question. Okay. Medicine has its place. If I go, if I blindfold myself and I get in a car accident and my arm gets chopped off, first place I'm not going is a chiropractor. I'm going to get my relief care. I'm going to get the proper medicine. So medicine has its place. It's just the reason why it doesn't cooperate is because at the end of the day, if it's a profession and I'm going to school to learn about the body, but at the same time I'm being duped with, with all my pharmacology and toxicology courses that are teaching about medicine and all the benefits and maybe not spending so much time on the on the side effects, then it's, it's, like, it's like that's what they know. The more and more research that's coming out here with more Harvard studies that are coming out supports how uh, chiropractic works on the nervous system. And the coolest thing is that the neurosurgeons are in complete agreement. You, you ask the neuro people and they're like, yeah, that actually makes 100%. True. I think that the profession is young enough and probably didn't have the best examples in it that we got the name as quacks mostly in like the 70s and 80s and so it was very shunned upon. Uh, I think it's come a long way and I think just because of that it's been, chiropractic is a rivalry to medicine so why would anyone say oh yeah they're right. Uh, if it's going to bash your own profession. Did I, give you, did I even touch on the surface to answer that question? Somewhat. Rivalry would be the one word to take away from that. It would be rivalry because I want to, I want to take care of a cause and I want to take care of an effect. As long as I can continue to take care of effects and never take care of the cause, you're going to keep coming back to me, right? For something more and more powerful. So. But it's even more insidious than that. 
Yeah. The pharmaceutical industry giving the doctors free samples to give out and underwriting research and stuff like that, it puts pressure on them to give out the free samples that will get you addicted and get you coming and saying, hey, I saw this ad on TV for this drug, I want it. And they just give it. The free samples in this state are disappearing slowly because of state laws coming through. The Kaiser won't give a free sample at all anymore. Yeah. And it's partly because of that, I think partly because of the health care reform that's coming. I'm wondering, though, I work with, with all adults who go to a neurologist all the time mm -hmm. for various reasons, um, and their own disabilities are usually connected very closely to the neurologist kind of thing. I'm wondering why neurologists don't work with the chiropractic system at all. Right. I, I, that's, that's tough to say at, at that level. Um, all I can say is my own clinical experience. I know that um, any any person who gets to the, the point where you know they need to have the surgery and I send them to a neurosurgeon, um, the neurosurgeon will happily refer them back for uh, restorative care. So I think it's just a matter of establishing the relationship. And at the end of the day, if, if I have a busy practice and a neurosurgeon has a busy practice and all they're focusing is on here as opposed to, you know what, let's advance America, you know, let's advance our community. It takes establishing those relationships to, you know, go far. Mm -hmm. So we spend a lot of time wrapping through PT, sure, and that sort of thing, along with a neurologist, yeah, through PT and back through, <coughs> and you know, folks aren't improving with their age. Right, it's something they've had mostly since they were born. Right, yeah. My thing is if we can if we can correct subluxation from a very young age then you can prevent a lot of these, you know, yeah. chronic problems, the sinuses, the digestion stuff, the scoliosis, you know, it's very mechanical, but um, all those sorts of things. So yeah. hopefully it's more establishing relationships. And we keep getting, I mean, uh, I don't want to toot my own horn, but we keep getting good rap. There was, a, my grandfather brought this in, it was in the most recent Time magazine, um, actually a couple months back, and it was, a, uh, I'm sorry, Consumer Reports, and it, they took like, 3,000 patients who had suffered either neck or back pain, and that's just, you know, symptom, symptom based, but um, they did, you know, a poll on, on patient satisfaction, and we, we ranked the highest, and it went us, PTs, I think it was occupational therapy, and then the very lowest was medical doctors. So as we continue to get better rap, the more and more, um, you know, people will understand that relationship. So. And there are neurosurgeons sending folks to chiropractors. My dad's neurosurgeon. Oh, is there? Yeah. Down in Yuma, but that's a different sure. Yuma, Arizona. They're all retired and uh, um, they're looking for quality of life down there and um, there, his his friend goes, uh, get that sent also and so, I, yeah. My husband has a spinal cord injury and he actually went to pain clinic where he, he does most of his doctoring yesterday and today, and he asked about chiropractic because he was kind of curious and, and wanted to know, oh no, oh no, don't go there. And he, he came out going, no, nope, they told me I can't go there. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like going, I wonder why that, that loop just isn't, yeah. doesn't exist. Well, it's a, it's, it, it's a whole society, and, and like I said, if the more popular we get, it just by the less popular they're going to get. So if you're protecting your own state, why would anyone invest in... You know, something yeah. that's going to be a rivalry. My always, my whole thing is, is, is in any condition. I just showed Casey a research article today with a uh, child who was a two-year-old had had cerebral palsy, and he was under chiropractic care for only four visits, and the medical doctors told him he'd never walk again. And he had, he did uh, the chiropractor did very similar techniques to what we do here, and the kid's walking again, and it's improving. So I don't know. I think that the difference is is a, a negative approach. Is oh, you'll never have to. Uh, you, you'll never, you'll never be walking again. You'll never, you'll never, you'll always be dependent. As opposed to, let's give you hope and you know, let's get I, you back in the game. I, I agree there because he was told he wouldn't walk, and he was told a lot of things you won't do, you won't, you won't do, and we tend to be of a different mindset in general. But he, and he does, he does walk, and he does drive, yeah. and he doesn't use a wheelchair. And, and things that they told us, oh yeah, he will be. Right, yeah. Which, I which think is they huge. tell you that, all that worst case stuff, so that when you de defeat it, you're like, yeah! Someone <laughs> tell me there's something wrong with that. It, that's exactly right. Yeah, someone will tell you, you're going to have a 16 week recovery, and when you recover in eight weeks, you're like, yeah, yeah. you're like, oh, thanks, doc. It's like, just tell 